Well, hello there, and welcome back to another Starbelt Video Portal production. Today we're going to be taking a look at Logic Pro, and specifically the version that we're going to be using is 10.6.3. And I'm going to show you how to make binaural beat frequencies using Logic Pro. Specifically, we're going to take a look at making one that should be kind of fun. I have this very, very old web archive that I saved from a long time ago, and I want to make one that will promote astral projection and telepathy. Oh, maybe seduction mindset too? Accelerated learning, subconscious problem solving, whatever. We're going to be aiming at 4.0 hertz as our beat frequency today, which I believe is right on the border of delta and theta. Extra sensory perception. Sounds fun, right? So, how do we do it? I've got it here already, and I will play it. This one actually I made for 2 hertz. It's kind of cool, but let's start all over, and I'll show you how to do this from scratch. So, let's close that. And I'm not going to save it. So you start off with a brand new project. Select Software Instrument. Test Oscillator for your instrument. And that can be found under Utility. So click the instrument. Go down to Utility. And go to Test Oscillator. And believe it or not, you want to go with Stereo here. I've done some experience with experiments with Mono, but you want Stereo. So select Stereo. Make your output 1 plus 2 for your stereo output and create that and then you'll instantly get an ear blast so go ahead and mute that we're going to call the first track here where's my rename I don't know the shortcut keys but we're going to call the first one left actually why don't we just make it a little more obvious uh, let's call it left side because that's what's going to be playing into your left ear. And then we'll make another one of these. Again, it's going to be, oh, and how I did that is I click this button here. Oh, go away. Click this button here to add another track. Sorry, track. We'll make it a software instrument again. Again, we'll make it the test oscillator from the utility. We'll make it stereo. We'll make the output one plus two create that and then you get a second track that blasts your eardrums so we'll mute that for a moment and let's rename this one right side because that's going to be playing into your right ear and the whole theory behind binaural beat frequencies is that four hertz is too quiet for your ear to hear the human ear cannot perceive that sound but if you play a higher frequency in one side and then another frequency in the other side, but the difference between those frequencies is your beat frequency. So for left side, we're going to pan it all the way left. For right side, we're going to pan it all the way right. And this will make it so that everything that we put into left side only plays on your left side of your headphones or speakers. And anything you put in the right side only plays on the right side. So then what we'll do is we'll select left side and we'll go to this test oscillator here. Click that. If you click that, you get this screen that comes up and I've got some garbage from before, but let's close those again. So select left side, then go over here to test os and just click in the middle there. If you click to the sides here, it, it won't really work, but click in the middle at those little bars there and you'll get this control panel. And you can play around with it, but I recommend going with sine wave. And the frequency is the frequency that's going to be played into your left side. Now, in the past, I've used very low frequencies, and my research on myself indicate lower frequencies like sub 100 hertz even lower, like 70 hertz, maybe even 50, have a better effect, I've noticed. 
but no one can hear them because they all have these shitty AirPod buds and earbuds that don't really pick up those frequencies. So today I'm going to make one that's a little bit higher frequency. We're going to make my bass frequency 122, which should be something that can be heard on earbuds, crappy earbuds. So on my left side I'm going to put in 122 hertz as a sine wave. And then on the right side, click the track to highlight it. And go over here to test oscillator, mouse over it. And again, click those lines to pull up the right side controls. And on this one, again, we'll make it a sine wave. But this time, we're going to make the frequency 126. And what this does is it gives us a difference of 4 hertz between the right side and the left side. Now you can pick this bass frequency to be whatever you want and there's a lot of theory about what are the best bass frequencies to use but just for today we're going to make it 122 and 126 which gives us a beat frequency of 4 hertz. So on your mixer track here click this audio effects here and go down to metering and pull up a multimeter, a stereo multimeter and then you get this. So let's just rearrange things a bit so that we can see it. So there's our left side track. Let's try and get them all in on the screen here. They like to click together a bit, which is good and bad. Okay, and then I like to choose, so I'm going to unmute these now, which means I'm going to hear them, but at least they're not as high frequency pitched as before. So analyzer looks like this, and it makes sense because our frequencies are close to 100 hertz. I like to look at the goniometer or whatever that is, and you get to see that little thing. And as you can see, it's you can see our frequency is swapping back and forth, and maybe this is what your mind sees. Alright, so now we have a binaural beat frequency of 4 hertz. That's great. What do you do next? How do you actually export this? It's not too hard. Go up to File, go to Bounce, Project or Section. I'm going to make my destination a PCM. I'm going to make it AIFF because I like to import these into Final Cut Pro. I'm going to go with 24-bit. I'm going to make my sampling rate 44.1 kilohertz again because Final Cut Pro seems to like that. I'm not sure what interleave versus split actually does to your file, but I'm going to leave it as interleaved, no dithering. I also want my normalization off. I want as little processing done to this track as possible. And then this is how you can set how long you want it to be. I think by default it's going to be about 4 minutes and 16 seconds. I don't want to add it to a project. I don't want to add it to music and have it stolen from me by Apple. So click OK. And it will default to your bounces folder, which is under your logic folder. I'll show you what that is. But let's call this 4 hertz binaural uh, ESP track. And bounce it. doesn't take too too long. Maybe it goes better if you turn off that analyzer. Now I'm going to mute these tracks because they just keep playing being test oscillator sounds. And let's just close these up so I can see what I'm doing on my desktop. So by default that will bounce to your main hard drive under users and then your username, music, logic, and then Bounces. There's this folder called Bounces. And there's the new track that we bounced. And if you just click it once and hit Spacebar, you can get a test. You can see it's about 4 minutes, 16 seconds long. And it's got that funky 4 hertz frequency. So you could then either take that AIF back into a new project in Logic Pro and add some more stuff to it. Or what I like to do is take it into Final Cut add it to some video and maybe some background ambient sounds. That's just how I roll because I'm better at Final Cut than I'm at Logic Pro. But that is how you make and export a binaural beat frequency track
from Logic Pro. I hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe, and make a comment down below. Was there anything I missed? Is there anything I could have explained better? Have you got any binaural beat frequencies of your own you would like to share? I would love to hear from you. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.